Maybe they were right. Maybe nice guys do finish last. Perhaps the guy with half a brain gets the girl over the genius simply because he doesn't wear spectacles. What a spectacle. This case I'm going to present is a tragic one. Not because how he ended, but how he started. Like, started a lot. This will all make sense soon, boys and girls. This is The Curious Case of Will White. So, who the hell was Will White, and why do we care? The answer sits right above the bridge of your nose, well, that is, if you have astigmatism. Will White was a 19th century pitcher whose ghost quietly resides in the hallways of BaseballReference.com these days. Will White was the first baseball player in MLB history to wear glasses. Kind of cool, right? Well, his brother had something to say about that. Meet James Deacon White. He also was a first for Major League Baseball. In 1871, Deacon became the first player in league history to take an at-bat and record a hit. That definitely outshines his little brother Will, doesn't it? Don't worry. This will become a theme. Let's take a peek at Will's resume, shall we? Take a closer look at 1879. That year, while pitching for the Cincinnati Reds, Will started an unbelievable 75 games of the team's 80. Not only did he start 75 of 80 games, he also pitched every single inning of every single start. 680 innings to be exact, Jack. Why didn't he look towards the dugout to be removed from the game when his arm was tired, you ask? Well, because for a large portion of that 1879 season, Deacon White was the manager. Perhaps the most impressive thing about this season was posting a 1.094 whip through those 680 innings. His innings pitched, games started, and complete games in 1879 are all MLB records that stand today. And most likely will never be broken. Through his 10 years in Major League Baseball, Will compiled 229 wins, which is tied for 66th all-time above Hall of Famers John Smoltz, Pedro Martinez, and future Hall of Famers Kurt Schilling and Justin Verlander. His absurd career ERA of 2.276 is good for 15th best all-time, right above Babe Ruth. His 3,542.2 innings pitched is the 67th best in baseball history, above a slew of Hall of Famers. Upon Will's retirement from baseball in 1886, he ventured into the grocery business for a short while. Not much later, His love of eyeglasses became his profession. Will and his brother opened an optometrist office in Buffalo. I guess you could say his poor vision developed his own vision. Will's amazing life came to a sudden halt in the summer of 1911 at the ripe age of 56. While instructing his niece on how to swim in a pool, Will suffered a heart attack, sunk to the bottom of the pool, and drowned. The most tragic part of this story is not that Will lost his life drowning. 
it's more so that his accomplishments to the game of baseball have been mostly ignored. His brother Deacon retired in 1890, and 123 years later, he was enshrined into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2013, proving that even from the grave, Deacon still outshined his little brother Will. Will blazed a path for other four-eyed players long after his death. In 1921, George Spex Topraker became the first position player to wear glasses in a major league game. Other notable players include Chris Corked Bat Sabo, Reggie Jackson, and of course, the lovable Eric Sogard. From blazing the optical use path to putting up absurd, unbreakable pitching stats, it's only fair that Will White finally gets inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. And perhaps we can finally say that sometimes nice guys don't finish last. This case is far from closed. You know what they say, the flower that blooms last is often the most beautiful. Hey, what's up guys? If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and hit that button down below. Subscribe for more. A lot more stuff coming your way. Alright, can somebody stop this? Because I, I don't know where my glasses are. I can't see.